What is up gamers and gearheads? Brutality here to bring you another edition of the Coalition Report where I recap all the happenings throughout the Gears of War community for all of my sweet members of the Delta Squad out there. And if you're listening to this, that means you. So, yay. Let's jump in, shall we? The Coalition reveals a brand new website for the studio. Go there to get to know the studio a little better and find any job listings that may fit your career of choice. This week, the Gears of War 4 release timeline was revealed. There is no official date yet, but Xbox reveals that it will launch in the fall of 2016. And of course, the beta will be in the spring as it was revealed last year at Comic-Con. Also, this image of the upcoming OXM magazine has been making its way around the web. It was removed from the Gears of War forums, but still lives on Reddit. So this makes me hopeful that we will get new Gears news very soon. Also, good news for you PC players, those of the Master Race will be able to play Gears of War Ultimate Edition on Windows 10 in spring of this year. Sorry Windows 8, you're just too basic. Games Radar includes Gears of War 3 in its list of the best co-op games ever. They also include Gears of War 4 in their most anticipated games of 2016, along with The Verge and a number of other sites. Now on to competitive news, the ESL Season 1 Grand Finals are taking place this Sunday, January 10th at 11 a.m. PST, as four teams battle it out for the grand prize of 60k. Yes, you heard me right, an additional 10k was added to the pot due to the profit of the sweaty weapon skin in Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Viewers can also have a chance to win one of those white Gears of War Ultimate Edition Xbox Ones we've seen floating around here and there. Larry Herb, the Major himself, made a video promoting the event and unboxing the white Xbox. And by tuning in to the cast, you will be able to snag the community-exclusive lit weapon skin. Along with that, the Coalition also announces they will be expanding the upcoming ESL Season 2 to Europe and Australia. More news on that, and there will also be news on Gears of War 4 esports according to the community post on the Gears of War website, which, if this stays true to the path set by ESL Halo before us, will be an even bigger tournament series and production for Gears of War. And don't forget, Rod Ferguson and some of the other devs will be conducting a panel at the event. Not sure if this will be streamed live or not, or if only event goers will be able to see it. And that, my good gears, is all the news I have for the past couple of weeks. Thanks so much for joining me here. Cross your fingers for Gears 4 news in the near future. Until the cog turns again, we'll have some more news for you next time. Have a wonderful weekend.